Uh, hi everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia. Uh, quick update on the humanitarian side of the war, uh, mainly regarding the the civilians at Mariupol, as well as uh, at uh, Vonovaka. So, uh, according to Ukrainian government sources, uh, 400 civilians have evacuated uh, from uh, Vonovaka. Uh, Vonovaka. Uh, not too sure what is the better situation here actually because the russians previously had taken this city or so or this small town uh so it might be the fighting around here or it could be because because the ukrainians have been bombarded bombarding the city so uh so there is a uh, civilians are uh, being evacuated from uh from Baja. and uh in, in terms of mariupol Mar mariupol I should actually go to Google Translate to find out what, how to pronounce this as well. And um, yesterday, uh, the evacuation was postponed by the city council of Mariupol. And then uh, the Russians is rather pissed. And then they call off the ceasefire and then continue fighting. So uh, today, the evacuation is kind of like uh, back again. So this is according to the Ukrainian side this time. Yesterday was according to the Russian. Uh, this today is according to the ukrainian side that the evacuation will actually resume at noon uh probably already passed and then uh, they will actually uh, go through the uh, an agreed uh, humanitarian uh corridor and the ceasefire will be uh will be adhered to by both sides of the forces uh for safe passage of the civilians going out of mariupol and uh, the the path is a bit different. Previously, the path will actually go through Nikolsky. This is actually uh, now uh, detoured. So instead, the convoy of for the humanitarian will actually go through a uh, Porovsky, Manhush, and then go all the way up, uh, probably by the longer route, all the way to Roviska, and then everything else will be actually more or less the same, <clears throat> except that they actually mentioned Bilmak. Then after that, Bolohi, then Ori, Okif, then after that, all the way to uh, Saporizhia. So, this is the this is the new uh, humanitarian corridor. There wasn't any mention for the Venovakha, only for the one for Mariupol. So, this is actually the only line that we have. And uh, it does make sense because uh, I haven't done this update yet, but actually, uh, Star Starry Cream, Starry Cream has fallen this is a suburb of uh, Mariupol has fallen to the Russians and uh, th which means that there was uh, heavy fighting around here which is, which is probably why the uh, humanitarian corridor has actually uh, diverted uh, around uh, Nikolsky or to, to go around uh, Porovsky and Manhush where maybe there's lesser fighting but according to the Russians the fighting is on the northwest and west sides or is it from the according to the Ukrainian? I forgot which who who is mentioned who mentioned it. I think it's the Russians. So um, the fighting is actually mostly on the west and the northwest side. So this is actually this around this place. This is where the most of the fighting are. So um, so good luck to all those uh, civilians. Uh, I know they can't hear me. I don't think they have access to internet. But um, hope they will be well and get to safety. And if they if you able to hear me and you have reached Zaporizhia. Please don't stay there. Please head further west. Don't even go to Dnipro. Don't even go to uh, Kriviri. Uh, go for, for further as far as you can. Uh, as far west as you can. M maybe leave. So don't go to Mo Moldova also. This seems like uh, a uh, uh, powder cake waiting to explode. So you know, go to Kiev. Don't go anywhere near to Belarus. Don't go as far as you can closer to Poland and um, don't stay here. This could any time you know, become a war zone. So don't go there. Uh, I mean, don't stay there. You just try to leave. So um, this is just a quick update in regarding the humanitarian side of the war for today. And uh, I please subscribe, please like. I think I forgot to tell people to subscribe in my previous video. But please subscribe, please like, please share. And uh, and if you really like all this update, uh, you have to subscribe because uh, the subscribe the subscription actually give me the motivation, you know, to further work, uh, do all this thing further. It's actually a lot of work, and then, uh, 
and by subscribing you actually get to see the the updates are more more current and then if you hit the bell button i believe that uh, you will get the notification so even better so um yep subscribe 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 and then i will see you in the next update